lose my mind. Iyad Al-Qurabi is an outspoken activist fighting for Palestinian rights. He founded the Queer Palestinian Empowerment Network. They took everything from us. They took the food, they took the land, they, they took the right to speak. He calls the Israeli government's occupation of Palestine gut-wrenching and dehumanizing and likens it to the genocide of indigenous people in the Americas. I'm out here protesting pal uh, for Palestinian rights, non-violently, okay? But I'll say we have the right to self-determination. Indigenous people had the right to self-defense and self-determination. Black Americans have the right to self-defense and self-determination. David Banks is the director of globalization studies at UAlbany and says Palestinians are living in an open-air prison. He says students understand the gravity of the issue about the separation of Palestinians from their land, heritage, and culture. Really the thing that I, I, try, to, I try to get across is that, you know, uh, um, there are uh, entire histories that as Americans we, we hardly even know and that we have to understand fully and completely before we make any kind of judgment. Banks says the U.S. government has a unique relationship with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. He says the result has been unquestioning loyalty to that administration and fears the declaration of war will mean one thing. And, and this is going to mean a lot of, um, uh, a lot of bloodshed. Uh, the, the, what's going to happen in the next couple days, weeks, is, is, um, is going to be uh, really disturbing because the Israeli government, more than anything, is um, humiliated right now. He says it's important to learn from American history and the connections to what's happening right now. If we want to talk about what, uh, what's been learned, it's that the Israeli government learned from the American government about how to displace and... Uh, um, lock up a population. Reporting in Albany, Karina Dominguez, News 10 ABC.